Hi there. I wanted to talk a bit about resilience today and what resilience is. So I'm going to invite you to just pause for a moment. Ago, where you felt you might be in that space right now, or perhaps it was a period of, of life that you're able to get through. And sometimes it takes a bit of time. So I'm Lori Ingram. I want to speak to you about resilience, which is so that you can move through those periods of time where everything might just feel like it's and you're not quite sure what to do. to move through those times and do that with with ease and um and very mindfully and consciously you know i'm recording this um at a period of whether you follow astrology all you do is follow news change happening all around us where I really had to go deep into my being but in retrospect it's interesting to look back and see that I did but how did I do that I did it through going back to the basic mindful practices and, and being grounded. I also did it with self-compassion. But things were a bit crazy. And that I really didn't know where things were going to go. But everything ended up fine eventually. Um, you know, and, and these are periods of time that we go through in our lives, off and on. Um, and people in our lives go through as well. It's times where we might feel extremely anxious or confused. Um, you know, and I can share that the past year or so, moving out of a very long career of working for somebody else into working for myself. Um, a lot of uncertainty there a lot of reinvention, a lot of doing things very different. And I had to remind myself to go back to my basic practices of, um, of allowing those emotions to, to, to really process. And I personally do that in a lot of different ways. Um, I do it through exercise, through walking, by being in nature. even creativity and, and not necessarily art, but creativity and getting things out on paper and color and images and shapes. Um, and I do it through talking to other people. You know, I have trusted people in my life that are guides for me in these times. The other thing that's, that I do is to change my way of speaking to myself about what's happening, adapting a growth might be happening. Um, for example, well, I know that when I often feel fearful, it's because I'm a that fear is actually something I can reframe into excitement. Excitement about being able to do what I love exciting about excited about getting up in the morning and meeting with clients yes it's a bit scary because it's new and it's an unknown territory for me but it's also um ignites a passion in me and it connects with something in me that really lights me up so 
these are all tools that we can find within ourselves. Um, and it is really important because life will throw us curveballs. It'll throw us curveballs in personal lives. It'll throw cur- curveballs in the lives of those we love. And the, the world is just a, one big curve. Oh, you know, we need to find those practices. And one of the things I want to share with you is that when you can move into that place of groundedness and centeredness, we realize it or not, we are very empathic beings. And when we can be in a place of presence, when we can be in a place of inner peace and calm, and allowing, and when we can reframe our language ourselves, we are actually helping others. So that's my sharing for today. I will link in the comments here that I do have a question actually written by John Kabat-Zinn um, of Mindfulness-Based Stress Reduction called The Mountain which is a wonderful way to embody resilience through the imagery of a mountain that goes through all the seasons and is always there, right? It has all sorts of activity happening in and around it, but it is, and it is always there. So I invite you to um, if you're feeling particularly um, a bit un- unstable or out of sorts, and and use that, you know, use that visualization um, as a way to help you reconnect with that. And I'd love to know um, in the comments how life is going for you. So, so thank you for joining me, and may you be well. <laughs>